So typically my workflow for animating would be using a Mixamo style skeleton. I'd use the Mixamo control rig tool to rig that skeleton and start animating. That skeleton generally is hierarchical and works well in Godot and, and Unity without much fuss. Um, after Blender 4 came out, that plugin broke. And I did patch it. I, I do have it working now, but uh, it made me want to change gears to work in Rigify because I do prefer Rigify, but their rigs are far more complex than you'd prefer for uh, for game dev, and once they're generated, the bone order is a mess, and you have to do a lot of cleanup before it'll work properly and allow you to transfer animations in Godot, etc. So uh, I built us some tools called uh, Rigadoify. It is two. It's the tool has two parts. Um, one is a feature set that you'll add to Rigify, and one is a plugin that you'll install straight. So um, you'll open your plugins in Blender, go to Rigify, and install feature set. You'll go to my Rigadoify zip and add external features. So here we go, it's added Godot rigs to Rigify. Uh, then you're going to install it as a plugin as well. You'll go to install and select that same zip file and that will allow you to add Rigadoify, the actual button, the tool. Um, what this does is it gives you two new options. When you go to add armature, you will now have a Godot human. Um, I've already cleaned it up so it has far fewer bones, just what Godot is going to prefer and need, and likely what Unity needs as well. Uh, and it will allow you, even because this is still rigified, you can still add on extra bones or tails or heads or whatever else you may want to this, but it, this is just the most basic standard game dev skeleton. Um, you'll go to Armature, Generate Rig, and this is still a normal rigify rig. So what you'll do is you'll click that rig uh, and click my new button, Prepare Rig for Godot. Uh, what this does is makes a few small modifications, uh, fixes the parenting on things like the hands and the various bones so that they are now properly hierarchical, uh, making it much easier to add and transfer animations across each other in, in Engine. Um, I've already taken care of a lot of the little things like bone roll for the fingers and, and uh, adding you know those face, face controls in the, in the basic way at least. You'll be able to position them for your own eyes or, or however you prefer. Or add and remove, of course, again, this is all attached to normal Rigify. Uh, but let's go ahead and play with this. Let's uh, click, just to show you that it works, let's go ahead and uh, parent this to the mesh with automatic weights. All right, that's finished. And so now we can go to pose mode. You should be able to see that, uh, like these fingers, for example, they are all properly curling. Um, we've got, you know, our normal head, head controls for looking left and right. All of our, all of our everything should just work right out of the box. Because again, it's just Rigify, uh, but you know things are renamed a little bit easier. So like the uh, root connects to the hips, which connects to the spine, to spine, to spine, to spine, to neck, to head, to the face bones. Um, the shoulders obviously go to the arms, down to the hands, to the fingers, thigh directly connects to the spine. Everything is is hierarchical so you don't have to worry about things being disjointed and disconnected from each other. So there you go. That is Rigadoify. I hope it helps people out and gets folks animating for your games. Have a good one, everybody.